Today I'm having a one versus one bass fishing tournament with 100 year old fishing lures against Kicking Their Bass TV. Here are the rules. We're both going to have four 100 year old fishing lures, a crankbait, a popper, a prop bait, and a choice between a rat and a frog. The first person to catch a fish on all four lures will be crowned the champ. But there's a catch. You have to use the baits in a very specific order which I listed on the screen. Additionally, we will only have 10 minutes to fish each pond and every single time you catch a fish, you have to run back to the golf cart to change your lure. Now that you know the rules guys, let's hop into this thing and may the best man win. Are you ready Noah? Yes sir. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right guys, we're hopping into this. I don't know what in the world this bait is. I don't know if it's top water or if it's a crankbait. But it is very interesting looking to say the least. I think we think it's a crankbait because we're tying it on fluoro. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's my hunch. <laughs> so we're going, we're going with the with the crankbait vibe. I think all of them float because they're made out of wood. Here we go. I'm about to tell you right here. Noah's the world's fastest tire. I swear to God, bro. Is it a crankbait? Yeah, dude, it looks. Yo, I don't even know what I would describe that as, Fletcher. Does it look cool? It, it doesn't go a lot beneath the surface. Like, it's like if you were to burn a wake bait. Like, it, it just goes about like three inches below the surface. 10 minute timer starts now. We're all good, let's get this in. But before we start fishing, guys, I do want to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. An amazing addition to this game is Doom Tower. This game mode introduced a whole world of new and terrifying bosses to slay. Sprawling over 120 levels, the Doom Tower brought exciting new challenges for seasoned players. As a high level collection RPG, Raid started with hundreds of unique characters and bosses. And if adding new characters wasn't enough, last year Raid added a whole new faction. The Shadowkin are a tribe of warriors from the Far East. Recently liberated from the region of evil, but that doesn't mean they're good guys either. And of course, the Hydra clan boss. It's without a doubt the biggest, baddest, and scariest boss to ever step foot in Raid. And this month, Raid just released a giant new feature, Awakening, and a brutal new dungeon, the Iron's Twins Fortress. If you're good enough to take down the Iron Twins, you'll be able to awaken your champions. Awakening your champions lets you choose a powerful blessing that can transform how they perform in battle. I absolutely love how awesome some of these blessings look and there's so much variety. But wait, here's the big news. Raid has just released a super powered legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, Death Knight. The whole Raid community has been waiting for this for a very long time and Ultimate Death Knight is everything we hope for. He's poised, he's powerful, he's perfect, and the best part is everybody can get him for absolutely free by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and October 27th, and you'll add Ultimate Death Knight to your collection. It's easy as that. You can also use the promo code DKRISES for a bunch of free items to instantly level up your new strongest champion all the way to level 50. 5 star ascension. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion Vergus, 200k silver, 1 energy refill and 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All the treasure will be here waiting for you. It's that easy. All you have to do is click the link down in the description below and I will see y'all in the game. Look at it, bro. It looks like, like a little cockroach. Yeah, look, look. Dude, it's a sombrero bill. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, mine's not running that good. Is yours running good? Yeah, dude, this is amazing. I had to run mine kind of sideways. I got this like clown color paint job. Bro, look at this thing. It, it won't even mess up, dude. This is better than any crankbait I've thrown. I don't know what this is supposed to imitate because it's like backwards. Yeah. Like the, uh, the, eyeballs, <laughs> the eyeballs face the other way. Maybe a, like a crawfish. It looks like a little cockroach going through the water. Your color's kind of fire, dude. <laughs> I like that like cracked paint job. <laughs> 
I'm gonna walk around over here to this far bank. We normally would run around in this challenge, but Noah's stomach is killing him. Man has been eating about 300 pounds a day trying to, to bulk up. I don't know what for. <laughs> Listen, I'm training for them sharks, dude. Probably gonna do some shark fishing. So this bait literally has two barbs. Like usually you have a treble hook. These things literally have two hooks. It looks like two live bait hooks like connected. Kind of weird. Be one right here. No way that snagged that that good, right? I cannot get this off. Are you stuck, stuck? Dude, I I can't even believe how bad I got it. Uh, I have never done that, dude. I've fished my whole life. I've never just thrown my rod in the water. <laughs> Did you just do that on purpose? No, bro. It slipped out of my hand. See if you can hook it. There you go, bud. Oh. Did it come off? It literally just came right off. All right, that worked. <laughs> hey, not, not how we drew it up. Stick that right back there. Probably need to turn the golf cart on first. That would help. Pulling up on palm number two, guys. Let's pop out of here. 10 minute timer starts now, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys, it is time to get it started. It is a little grown over here. I'm hoping we get one on this puppy. I'm gonna try to sling out by this fountain. Maybe we got a little fountain guy. like a top water dang is it a good one yeah. oh there's a big carp right there yes oh all right nose out in the lead dang it boy <laughs> Yo. that was a money flip guys oh look at that right there oh my gosh well there we go first fish to start off the video and it was literally like my first cast I made one cast before this, but that was like my first real cast. He was right up in that corner in that shade line. I had a feeling about coming over here and sure enough, he was there. I didn't even have to move the bait. Might need the pliers on this one, not gonna lie. That's a good fish too, guys. Look at that. It's like a two pounder. Oh, baby. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this. I have not been doing too great in these challenges the last few times. I keep getting to the very end and losing in the final second or the last second or just choking when i'm way ahead i don't know what's been going on but i gotta figure something out bro i'm gonna be real these are the best hooks i've ever seen in my life like <laughs> between that thing catching trees and that thing in that fish's mouth look at that first fish of the video on the hundred year old lures and he smoked it just like a top water and the cool thing about that I'm about to tie me a topwater on right now. We're gonna have to give him a little toss. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh, what a blow up. The last few times that we've come out here, the water has been nasty. I mean, it has been super stained, but it looks like it cleared up big time, which is great to see, because when this pond is clear, these fish tend to bite really good. And there's some super nice ones in here. We're talking a lot of four, five, and six pounders. All right, y'all, we're done with the first lure. We can retire this one now. We are on a phenomenal start. Now, I don't even know what this thing is, okay? I have no idea. It looks very similar. I'm assuming it's like a longer style crankbait. If I had to compare it to anything, instead of a crankbait, I would consider this more of a jerkbait. It pretty much looks like a spook, but it has like a bill on it. I thought this was gonna be a top water, but pretty sure this is a long crankbait. This might be difficult here. But we're gonna go back over to the juice hole and see what we can do. We can test this lure out too, see how it runs. All right, here goes nothing. What in the world even is this thing? What is this? Hold on got the same bill walk around to right here in front of this tree tends to be pretty productive the bushes are growing up a lot so where i usually stand a cast it's kind of hard to get to this is a top water 
I guess you just reel it? You can't really walk it. You can spot, you can pop it. What in the world? <laughs> okay, this is a very interesting bait. I mean, I know this lure is 100 years old, but come on. Just something, just a little bit of attention would be great. I am very confused on why they go with these weird colors. You know what I mean? I mean, like you would think, like if you're making a lure, I don't care if it's right now or 100 years ago, you'd be like, you know what? I want to match the lure to the color of the bait fish. I have never seen a color bait fish like this. It literally just looks like a popping hot dog. Like that's the best way I can describe it. Literally a popping glizzy. Oh, I just saw like three bass just dart off the bank right there. They went up under this tree. Good size ones too. Oh, there's one behind me. There's one behind me. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to sling this up this bank. There's definitely fish right here. If I can just get one triggered. Oh God, now I'm in the tree. Oh, gotta watch out for that. The gator needs to calm down. Over here, I think is where we're gonna get bit. If we, oh my gosh, guys, there's another one too. Oh my gosh, Noah got another one. I can hear him hooting and hollering. I'm over here trying to not hook the trees. There's another one following it right now. Oh my gosh. There's literally another one. Oh, he just tried to take it out of his mouth on the bank. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's go, baby. Fletcher better be worried, man, because we are smoking him. He was barely hooked. Something, eat it. Come on. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Oh, oh, gosh, you just got a bite. I just got a bite. Holy cow. Look at that, dude. Oh, there we go. Second fish, second lure complete. We have another bass literally right there. Another one is coming after it, too. Oh, my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Please, 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 eat it again, eat it again, eat it again. Dark it. Okay, this is what we got to do. If we really want to do this, we're going to have to go back, tie on this other bait. We're going to come back here and we're going to knock out all three guys. And we're going to move on to the last lure. <laughs> These fish just do not want to eat this thing. I guess I got to go over where Noah's been catching them because apparently he's getting bites. Guys, you want to know something crazy? This next bait is identical to a freaking whopper plopper. It, it is over. Those first two baits were definitely the hardest. Now I'll literally tie this plopper on. I'm gonna go get drilled. Look at this. So you got two props on the back ends and you got three hooks. Oh my gosh, this is money. Boys, if there's a bait I have confidence in, it's this puppy right here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we made it down to where Noah caught his first fish. Let's see. There's more than one fish over here that wants to eat this thing. How many you have? Two. Bag nabbit, dude. Oh, yes. Dude, this must just be the juice spot here. Let's go. Let's go. First fish. All right, we got knocked out. We're only one bait behind Noah now. Thank goodness, man. I needed something to go my way. Let's get this off of here. That is a nice lmb if i do say so myself probably about a pound and three quarters nice fish thanks for the bite bud Woo! he is jumping away all right guys i'm gonna start putting a little pep in my step here because i need to in order to catch up to noah let's cut this off we're on to the infamous sombrero bait that's what me and noah nicknamed this thing because it's got this metal ring around kind of looks like a sombrero i don't really know what it's supposed to do whether this thing's supposed to pop supposed to crank or do something else i'm gonna figure it out though oh there's two of them there's two of them they're gonna fire up guys here and we're off <laughs> let's get back over here maybe there's a third fish up in that hole that wants to eat i'm gonna keep on making them mad one of them's gonna come up and eat it guys time to see what this thing does uh reel it I think it's a popper, maybe. She fish just like a popper? Yeah, kind of. I'm assuming it's a topwater bait. Yeah, I had like four fish, dude. There was two that were just like roaming right here. I don't know where they went. Were any of the ones you caught decent? They were both like two pounds, two and a half. But uh, 
I don't know. I would pop on the edge of that. That uh. Oh, I got him, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Always a good one, Fletcher. Yeah, that's a chunk. Oh my gosh. I had to work it like a prop bait, dude. That one's not even big compared to the other ones, though. Here we go, baby. Oh my goodness. Well, this is not good, guys. Trying to come over here and steal Noah's fish, and right as I got over here, he got it. Fletcher, these hooks are so crazy. They're hard as heck to get out, dude. I had, I couldn't get my first fish off. The other one came off pretty easy. The barbs are insane. I can't even, I don't know what to do. Oh. That was close. <laughs> you would have been better off just running back to get the pliers at this point. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, there's the third fish. Holy cow. I cannot believe I ended up getting another one on this. I just kept throwing it down that bank and finally got one to come out of that shade and eat it. Pretty bass right here. I'd say he's not as big as the other ones, but still a nice one. Thank you, buddy. Well, guys, we are on the last bait. We, ha we get to choose what we're going to throw here. So this is a very tough question. I was telling Fletcher, this is a hard one to choose from. Should we go with the topwater rat or should we go with the crank frog? And to be honest, man, I've been catching them so good on topwater. I just think this might be the best option. We're gonna go with the topwater rat for the final lure. It does have a broken bill. If you guys saw in one of Fletcher's recent videos, but you can still reel it and walk it like a dog. So I think this is gonna be the bait right here. Shucks. Oh my gosh. Just ate it right there. Had some luck at this spot in the past. I just gotta bomb this thing. Almost there. There's a shade line over there. And if I can get that bait in the shade line, I tend to have fairly good luck. Alright guys, we got the final bait tied on, which is the old rat. Oh, that cat's is beautiful. I'm actually gonna still go over to this far corner, see if we can get a bite on this. I've just had so much good luck over there. Oh, got him, I got him, let's go. Stay down, stay down, stay down. I saw that fish come up underneath it. I stopped it cold and just barely moved it. And boom, bada bing, she smoked it. That is what I love to see, guys. We're down just a lure right now. I'm actually gonna take this fish back with me to the golf cart, because these hooks are super difficult to get out and we're just gonna release her over there here we go darling let me help you out and get these hooks out of your face oh i'm so glad we hooked up with this fish i was really worried i was gonna get a bite and we we're gonna miss them these hooks are just not very sharp once you get them in there the barbs are gnarly but the hooks themselves aren't that sharp oh my god oh 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 dude that was almost the whole challenge right there dude they're freaking schooling let's clip this off and let's move on to bait number three. This like whopper flopper, spy bait, top water. I don't know exactly what this is called. I think it's technically like a, a prop bait. But if y'all are enjoying this video, guys, make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. It makes a big difference for me. And I know a lot of y'all are watching the videos and aren't subscribed. So you might as well take the two seconds it takes to hit that little subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get on the move and let's try to find us another one. Can I believe that? I had it right there. I freaking had it. I might be able to get him to still eat it. I mean, it's so far out there that he don't know I'm throwing this bait all the way out there. You know what I mean? It's not like it's right up on the bank where he sees me. Pop that right in here. Maybe we can make this happen in one cast. That would be epic. There was clearly fish up in this corner. This is where I just caught that fish just from a different angle here. Oh, 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 first cast, first cast, first cast. He missed it, he missed it. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna put this right back here. Maybe this fish will eat that. Come back for it, baby. I know you're right there. Oh, I see her. Oh, she's thinking about it. Oh, she missed it again. So there's two fish, there's two fish, there's two fish. Oh, golly, man. I need this fish so bad. I'm trying to be low key. Please, please, please eat this thing they're sitting right there on the edge of the bank oh no <gasps> oh no fletcher i got i'm in trouble bro never mind i'm okay what happened no, nothing oh my god i almost caught a freaking bird 
His rat's gone. It's got to be. I don't know if I can get it around this tree. I don't know what Noah's got going on over there, but currently I'm stuck in this stupid bush. Guys, I almost just caught a freaking bird. Where's the rat at? Oh my God, I got it back. Guys, that was the scariest <laughs> <laughs> that bird when i saw him coming it was too late i mean i, I looked as my bait was in midair and he just took my freaking line he wrapped me all the way into that pocket i don't even know how i just got my bait back well y'all just please eat it i'm almost out of time here and i would love to be on the same bait as noah's once we go to this next spawn oh golly there goes the freaking timer oh now i'm wrapped up in the tree this is just going great get out of here dude gosh all right let's get moving back to the golf cart oh man dude i'm coming back slowly but surely coming up on pawn number three here goes nothing guys time for me to shine come back tie it up and then hopefully get the win oh that was that was not great. There's a bush right in front of that. All right, boys, ratatouille. We got to put them to work. All we need is one bite. We already had a bite. We just didn't capitalize. A lot of pine straw. Nothing. All right, let's walk around to the dock. Let's go! Fish number three. Stay on there. Stay on there. I know these hooks are in there once you actually hook a fish. Come on. Come on and get on up there. Boom! <laughs> All tied up, Noah. What do you have to say, man? I don't know, man. You were feeling confident a few minutes ago. Mr. Ratatouille better catch him. All right, that second hook isn't coming out with my fingers. Come on, bud. Let's get you out of here. Grab those pliers and try to get this final hook out of your mouth. You done did it to yourself, didn't you? There, bud. But well, we got it out. Thank you for the munch. We really needed that. We are all tied up with Noah. Let's get that frog tied on and let's get the dub. Later, my dude. Okay, quickly, quickly, guys. Let's get this thing tied up. Get that comeback. I'm thoroughly surprised Noah decided to go with the rat because this frog is a crankbait and it's honestly pretty dang saucy if you ask me. I've caught quite a few fish with this thing and every single time I just have a blast fishing with it. It's such a cool and unique bait. The old pop pow. And we're all good. Let's get this sucker out there. Gonna go right back around to the dock. See if we can't get one on this before Noah gets one on the rat. I'm coming, boy. I'm coming, boy. I have a feeling you're gonna get one right away on it. Oh, there goes the timer. <laughs> Off to the next pond. Hopefully we can make it happen and finish this challenge up at our final pond of the day. Pond number four, guys. And I think this is where it's gonna go down, man. It's whoever, whoever can make something happen. We're going right out here to this point. Noah's got his one little favorite spot over there. I'm gonna go try this spot up on this point. It tends to be pretty productive, but I feel like it's gonna happen quick here because the fish in this pond tend to bite really good. Guys, we can do this right here. I'm gonna put the last bit of effort into this last catch. And then we game over. Let's bounce down this way. I'm trying to go over here where Noah's fishing. The fish have been biting over here really good over the last few times we've been out here. Can't let them take advantage of that. No bites? Nothing. Anything for you? Nothing. I yeah. think we're in the stale hour. They're getting tired, man. Uh, not even a sniffer. Sun's coming down, They're getting sleepy. I guess I'm gonna walk down this way. Come on, Ratatouille. Oh my gosh. Did you get a bite? 
No, a dang gator almost got it, bro. Oh, God. I didn't think I was going to make it past his face. I thought he had me there, dude. <laughs> Probably I'm fishing a... <gasps> That's it, buddy. No! Right in my face, dude. He was on the other side of the dang bush. That is a dub in the books, boys. Thank you so much, buddy. Ah, man, guys, well... It was almost a comeback story, but not this time. 